Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, how profitable are thy branches? At an average price of $78 each, Christmas trees make up a $2 billion a year business. But it isn't as holly jolly as it sounds. Because for every year trees are sold, it takes about nine more years to grow them all over again. Throw in the growth of the artificial tree business and farmers are looking at one blue, blue Christmas. Uh -huh. So how do they recoup the money they miss out on while their trees flourish? And can they compete against the increasingly popular fake tree? Every year, about 25 million Christmas trees are sold in the US. But before we're rocking around our Christmas trees at home, Christmas tree farmers are waiting. Because almost all varieties of the Christmas tree follow the same general production cycle. After being purchased as a seedling, a single tree spends two years in the nursery, then gets planted in its own six by six plot of land where it grows and grows and grows for almost a decade until it finally reaches a mature six feet. That's the same amount of time it takes to become a licensed physician. And during that time, it's a bit of a financial black hole for farmers because land, labor, and equipment is expensive and a lot can happen during those 10 revolutions around the sun. But if all good things really do come to those who wait, then Christmas tree farming is no exception. In 2019, the Washington Post reported that 98% of all real Christmas trees on the market came from tree farms. But it all depends on what things will look like 10 years out, because planting too many trees could flood the market while planting too few could cause a shortage. Like during the 2008 recession, when struggling farmers dipped below their usual planting quota, Eight years later, prices spiked and have trended upward ever since. But when the waiting game is over and the time comes to finally sell, farmers can either go with U-Cut, which allows the public to cut down their own trees, or Wholesale, which supplies the tree lots that pop up right after Thanksgiving. Farmers typically earn eight to $10 per tree. That's $1 per tree per year of growth. Still, Striking a wholesale deal with a major retailer like the Home Depot could net seven figures. And while that's great for farmers, once the retailer has the trees, it typically marks them up by 100% or more, a price hike that inspires some holiday shoppers to buy their trees in a box. Behold the artificial Christmas tree. Looks like a tree, smells like plastic. But their public appeal only seems to keep growing. In 2019, Americans bought nearly the same amount of artificial trees as real trees. Unlike the real thing, fake trees take minutes to manufacture and can sometimes retail for more. And while the faux fur market has made big gains in recent years, it's unlikely to stop Christmas tree farmers from taking their own 10-year journey. Because according to the purists, you just can't beat the real thing. Tis the season to subscribe to The Hustle. Check out the links below to sign up for our daily newsletter and never be without the latest business and tech news and trends.